with the support of local officials, members of the hotel trade and many pubs, a man named Horace Norman helped form a new sporting club. He was named the first captain. The year was 1864 and the game of Australian rules football had come to Williamstown. From its birth through to the end of the century, the club accomplishes sparingly, showing brief form to win a Junior Challenge Cup against South Melbourne in 1876. The club nurtures and celebrates the sustained effort of great players, Toddy Fitzpatrick, Jasper Jones and Walter Warren. However, struggling to sustain any feat of triumph and in a game versus Footscray in the last year of the century, Williamstown records its lowest ever score, kicking only three behinds. Sporting pioneers had cast a future for the town, and the turn of the new century would prove to be a threshold. The challenge now was to create something the village could stand by, something to aspire to and be proud of, something to hold close and guard, something to call their own. That something would not only be measured by success on the sporting field, but also seen and felt in spirit by those who wore the colours. In the next 60 years, Williamstown would become a competition force unmatched in the history of the Victorian Football Association. The Seagulls were about to take flight.